we back. Time to get this in. <clears throat> Little Women Atlanta, season four, episode ten. <clears throat> Another bad romance. So many and Moni well Minnie brings Moni to her podcast and she talks about her uh, health conditions and she gets support. Sage Lady's with Sam, they talk about the proposal. Sage Lady feels the ways because she feels that her and Vaughn have been together for just as long. She wants to get married now. Jordan is with Amanda and she knows that her sister feels the ways, but you know, he wanted if, if the sister's jealous. <laughs> they even talk about kids, right? And he said, we ain't having kids for marriage. I'm saying like, bruh, like I really feel like you throwing some fucking digs right now, but I ain't mad at you. I'm here for the mess. <clears throat> so you have Minnie and Sam in one scene, Andrea and uh, Moni in another. Minnie says that she hasn't told the girls about her conditions, but she also wants to talk to Andrea because she feels that Andrea feels the kind of way. And says that she's planning a trip to a winery, so maybe that'll probably be the best time. Andrea is talking to Moni and she feels that many, you know, she's mad that many picked out the wedding ring and she felt that, you know, many is rubbing it in her face. <clears throat> Sage Lady, Sam, Juicy, and uh, Beer go to a detox spa. Uh, Beer feels okay with where she's at with the girls right now. Sam asks Sage Lady if she has talked to Vaughn. She says no. Sage Lady says that, you know, she wonders about their future, but you know, don't want <clears throat> to tell the girls anything because, of course, Juicy has, and we all know why she didn't tell Juicy. A man and Andrea sit down. Andrea asks if their parents know a man that says they're happy, but they're upset they weren't involved, which I I understand more why they are. I understand why Andrea is upset. I understand more why the parents are upset because generally how things work is, you know, if a guy wants to propose, you know, he at least talks to the father and get the father's blessing. So I can understand that. Andrea's just enough for, for no motherfucking reason. <clears throat> and I'm going to just keep it all the way 100. She probably feels some kind of way because she uh, wants Chris to propose to her. Because, you know, I guess she feels that, you know, she has all this shit. She got the kids, but she ain't got the ring. But her sister, you know, got a ring without the kids. You know, and I'm actually happy that. Amanda has a storyline that is not dependent upon her sister and her sister relationship with her uh, boy Chris, which <clears throat> up until this point, I wasn't really fucking with Chris, but I, I like Chris now. I like Chris now. I, ho I hope you don't fuck it up. So Andrea's in her feelings and she's upset that Minnie doesn't spend time with Aubrey, you know, and, you know, but where's the time of Godmother? So it's starting to make me believe that either A, this is the underlining problem or she is just looking and picking at reasons to be mad at Minnie. And y'all know I don't like Minnie. But I'm just saying. <clears throat> Let me see. Juicy and the Sage Lady. <clears throat> because uh, Juicy was married, uh, she wanted to get um, Juicy's opinion about, you know, um, how to approach situation. She mentions that her and Vaughn have had issues and Juicy is able to comfort her. I told y'all I don't give a fuck about uh, Sage Lady and her shit. I told y'all this already. Many and Cora uh, Many now has to carry oxygen when she exercises in the event that you know she happens to you know like lose her breath when she exercises. So nothing crazy to say there. <clears throat> but she um, <clears throat> has lost weight and um, her doctor has adjusted her meds accordingly. So a lot of that water weight that she's gained, she is starting to lose. Vaughn and Sage Lady talks about a marriage and, you know, she wants him to propose to her in the future. Whatever. On the party bus, Juicy brings up the engagement. Minnie says that she wanted to tell her so badly, but, you know, she couldn't. Andrea <clears throat> says, oh, Sam knew too. Sam helped too, and you know, you, you see Andrea's very bad. At the vineyard, <clears throat> you know, uh, the girls, I, I, I gotta read because there was so much to happen. I just want to give it to you the way it happened. The girls asked how she kept the secret. Asked Minnie how she kept the secret. <clears throat> and she said with her, Andrea says, you know, if I had gone, I would have picked a better ring. Minnie tells her, Jordan picked out the ring. Andrea says, you said you helped pick it out and you and you needed help. 
Amanda says she likes the ring. Andrea says Jordan know if he took me, he know I would have chosen a better ring. Amanda tries to reel her sister back in. Andrea says if Chris proposed to me, I know you would want to be there. She chose Mona Green, and it looks a lot better than yours. Minnie says she just said she liked the ring. And Andrea said you did a good job for Mona, but not for my sister. I shouldn't have chose you, my child's godmother. Minnie walks away, and the girls are trying to sit here and defuse it the best way that they can. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to go too deep in <laughs> because I ain't got too much to give. Under is full of shit. And I've already said how the fuck I feel about her. It's jealousy. but And this is one of those things where it's just like, first and foremost, if I was Minnie, <clears throat> once she started with the yin yang, I would have walked the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? And and I'll be honest, I tend to do that a lot. I don't run away from shit. But I am not going to let myself be pulled into anything. And like I said, I got high blood pressure. So I don't need my blood pressure being raised anymore. But even with her having a condition, she could have just removed herself from it. And Andrea is not doing herself any fucking justice. Because we even saw from uh, previews from what's coming on later this season that... Her baby is probably not gonna make it. So all this fucking stress you are putting on yourself, I, you know what? I'm gonna stop right there because I'm gonna say some shit that's gonna come off being real fucking insensitive. That's all I got. That's my last video for right now. The next video will be my trending topics. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope y'all enjoy this multiple upload day, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.